In April of 2024, NVIDIA was nearly toppled as the leader of graphics card production for artificial intelligence. Now we're going to be comparing Intel's latest GPU, the Battle Mage, with NVIDIA's powerhouse, the RTX 5090, and we're going to see who might come out on top of this epic tech showdown. Secondly, we're going to be talking about Dolly and Stable Diffusion churning out millions of images today and their heated battle. And third, we're going to be talking about a new groundbreaking piece of legislation which is poised to redefine how personal data is protected, and this is the American Privacy Rights Act. So stay with us as we break down these topics to provide you with some updates on where technology is headed next. Let's jump right into our first major topic, the upcoming clash of the titans in the GPU market, Intel's Battle Mage versus Nvidia's RTX 5090. First, we have the Intel Battle Mage. This is Intel's next generation GPU, and the buzz is already building. Now slated for release just before Black Friday in November 2024, Intel aims to make a significant impact on the holiday shopping spree with this new device. They're pushing to get these cards out ahead of the, one of the biggest shopping days of the year, which tells us they're not just entering the market, they're looking to directly compete with Nvidia. On the other side, we have Nvidia, who's a behemoth in the GPU arena. Their RTX 5090 is set to launch in the fourth quarter of 2024 as well, making this timing more than just a coincidence. Nvidia has a long-standing reputation for powerful, cutting-edge graphics cards that are the go-to for many gamers and professionals. What does this mean for the market and for us as customers? This face-off is set to ignite fierce competition. With both GPUs launching at around the same time, consumers will benefit from more choices and potentially better pricing. Now, both Intel and Nvidia are strategically timing their releases to maximize their impact and their sales. This competition isn't necessarily even about better GPU, it's about setting up the stage for future technologies and market leadership. Now, the big question with these two is which ones are going to be better for graphics, better for computing, better for cryptocurrency, and which one is going to have a more reasonable price. The top tier price on NVIDIA graphics cards can range from $1,000 to $1,500 and Intel the same. So are these two actually going to be price competitive or are they going to push the envelopes and charge people an even more ridiculous price? Next up, we're tackling an issue that's been making waves lately, which is the issue with image generation competition. First, let's talk about the specific challenges. Recently, it's been reported that platforms like Instagram's AI and OpenAli's Dolly 3 have faced difficulties when tasked with creating images of interracial couples. For example, Instagram's AI often produced images of couples of the same race despite being prompted for mixed race pairings. Similarly, Dolly 3 struggled to accurately depict Asian men in relationships with white women, often generating images that didn't match the diversity requested. These challenges aren't isolated incidents, they're indicative of a larger issue within AI training. AI learns from vast data sets which unfortunately Unfortunately, can include bias. When an AI like Instagram or Dolly 3 generates biased outputs, it's often a reflection of the data it has been trained on. So why does this matter? Well, these biases in AI image generation can reinforce stereotypes and exclude underrepresented groups, perpetuating a cycle of bias. Now, developers must address these issues by employing more diverse data sets and refining their algorithms. The implication of these biases affects more than just image generation. They they can impact AI development across different sectors, including voice recognition, predictive text, and more. Recognizing these issues early may help us tackle future AI problems where AI perpetuates uh, the wrong kinds of stereotypes. So next, we're going to explore a topic that impacts all of us, data privacy. The American Privacy Rights Act is on the table today, and it's set to redefine privacy standards in the US. Let's break down what this act involves. Now, the proposed proposed legislation aims to set a national standard for data privacy, streamlining the complex patchwork of state-by-state -state laws that currently governs this area. Now, if passed, it would provide clear and consistent data protection rules across the entire country. To understand the potential impact of this act, let's take a look at Europe's General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR. The GDPR is a comprehensive data protection law that significantly influences global data. It's forced companies to change how they 
handle their personal information, emphasizing transparency and consumer rights. Similarly, the American Privacy Rights Act seeks to enhance consumer protection by limiting the types of personal data companies can collect. Now, for businesses, a national privacy standard like the American Privacy Rights Act could reduce the complexity and the cost of compliance. Uh, people would no longer need to navigate different rules in different states. If for consumers, it would mean enhanced and consistent protections across the board. However, creating such a standard isn't without its challenges. States with stricter privacy laws might resist a federal standard that could be seen as less rigorous, while states with laxer regulations might find the new standards too demanding. Now, despite these hurdles, the benefits of a unified privacy law could be significant, making it easier for companies to comply. Before we wrap up, let's speed through some quick bits of exciting tech updates that we all should know about. First, AI-powered grading in Texas. Texas is introducing an AI-powered grading system called the ASE, or Auto Scoring Engine, for standardized tests. Now, this move aims to save costs and streamline grading. However, to ensure quality, about 25 of the tests will still undergo human review. It's a step towards using AI to take care of grading issues for teachers and standardized tests. Secondly, Windows 11 updates and third-party issues. The latest update for Windows 11 version 24H2 is causing some stirs as it blocks several third-party modifying apps that alters the operating system's UI. This is part of Microsoft's broader strategy to integrate AI. So before we sign off, let's lighten things up with a quirky trivia question. What unusual job did researchers once give to pigeons that ties into today's themes of AI and automation? A. Acting as messengers to deliver USB sticks. B. Sorting emails by pecking at screens. C. Reviewing and tagging digital photographs. Or D. Playing a simplified version of the game Pong. Hit us up in the comments with your answer and let's see who guessed right. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more engaging tech content. Thanks for joining us and see you in the next video.